Hi guys, it's me Eric, and so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these felt buttons inspired by Netju no Susume or Recovery of the MMO Junkie. And oh my god, this anime is just so cute! Like, I just watched the finale and I totally recommend it. I'm just like, oh, oh my gosh. But with these felt buttons, you could keep Hayashi and Lily with you forever, even if the anime is already ended. So, with that, let us get started. So the supplies you will need are different colors of felt, mainly peach and two shades of pink, and then also a light blue, hot glue stick, pin backing, scissors, sewing pin, acrylic paint, and printer paper. So first what you want to do is draw out your design of Yashi and Lily. And I made this design and if you want to use this design, it will be linked down below. But basically, I just made a base, a front, and a back to kind of layer the pieces of felt rather than it just being a flat design. And with your design, go ahead and cut out the pieces. So after you've cut your design, I was about to actually redraw them onto the pieces of felt until I discovered, oh yeah, I just made a pattern, so I'm just gonna pin it onto the pieces of felt. I'm gonna be making Lily first and then Hayashi, so I first pinned out the base and put it onto the peach felt I had, and I did that two times for Hayashi and Lily, just because I already had the peach out, so why not do them both at the same time? After the peach is done, I pinned the front piece to the light pink. If I had the chance to redo this project again, I think I would have chose a different shade of pink because it was just too close to Lily's hat that it just blended in. So if you had the chance to go a little darker with the hair, or at least the front piece. Using the front piece, I also cut out the fringe so the fringe could be like a separate piece on top of the whole hair. And I did that after, of course, I drew and cut it out, the first piece. After you cut the first piece, go ahead and cut the back piece. I actually did this two separate times. So first I used the back on the light pink that I had. And then after I cut the light pink out, I cut out the ribbons and put that on like a hot pink felt. Then after that, just set Lily aside and then we'll make Hayashi. Hayashi is actually pretty easy compared to Lily because you don't have to do as much cutting, but there's a lot more involved cutting when it comes to Hayashi because of the bangs and like all the, you know, hair stuff. So of course, with Hayashi, go ahead and cut out the front part. And then after you cut out the front part, go ahead and do the back. And with the front, I also did the fringe thing that I did with Lily, so also do that. <laughs> so after cutting everyone out, go ahead and take your hot glue gun and heat it up to actually glue everything together. Go ahead and start doing the base to the back first and then move away from that and go to the front. And take your time, you don't want to mess this up because you work so hard on cutting every single piece out. I know this is a pretty self-explanatory DIY and like you just cut a lot, but I mean cutting takes a lot of time, especially with people with anime hair because you have to cut a lot of hair. Then after you're done 
gluing everything, go ahead and take your pin backings. I bought these from Michaels. They're kind of like the bracket ones. I'm pretty sure you can find them in the jewelry making section or brooch making section in your store. Um, and then I just use hot glue and put it on the back first and then place it on as opposed to the other way around. And, with, and for these pin backings, I opened them so I didn't get glue on the actual pin part. And then after gluing, wait for that to dry, which is not going to be a long time because hot glue dries really fast. And then I just painted on the eyes for Lily and Hayashi in their eye color. I was going to use felt uh, to actually do this part, but when I was trying to do it, it just didn't look the way I wanted it to. So I just used acrylic paint because when I tried to use markers, the markers didn't look good either. So I just settled on their paint. But of course, if you want to use felt, because you already have it from the other like cutting, uh, go ahead and do it. This is a free range thing. And then after that is finished and all dry, you are finished with the DIY and it's super cute. I never expected to love this anime as much as I did and it told such a good story in like 10 episodes that some anime don't do in like 13 or 50. So I'm just like, oh my god, it's so good. But I hope you like this DIY and if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm open for anything and if you try this DIY or the many featured on this channel, be sure to use the hashtag ILADIYs on Instagram, Twitter, or Tumblr. Thank you so much, you guys, and see you tomorrow again for another video. Bye!